wanted to finish up section 2.5. 2.5 started out by giving us uh, solutions by substitution. And that first case was to check to see if the differential equation is said to be homogeneous. Um, hom homogeneity here for a differential equation, for one singular differential equation, denotes that, that all of the terms uh, tend to have the same uh, power structure. So if it's x squared y, we're thinking something with the third power. So if I have y cubed also, if I have x cubed, then they have the same power structure, then it's said to be uh, homogeneous. Um, if, it's, if it's x squared y, then something like plus x, and then minus 1, then that's not going to be homogeneous. And so, um, and so the second part of this section deals with another substitution here where the problem, this is equation 4. Equation 4 looks like the linear equation of the first order. It looks like that, except with that uh, y to the n over at the end over there. That throws us off. If it wasn't for the y to the n, then we can solve that uh, uh, based on how we did in section 2.3. Uh, with those straightforward uh, linear equations. So what we're going to do is to use this Bernoulli substitution to, to force this equation to look like the linear equation. And then we'll solve based on the substitution. Once we finish that, go back and back substitute to get the, uh, the original solution that we were looking for uh, in the beginning. So uh, here are the steps. <coughs> Uh, steps to solving uh, Bernoulli. So we're going to write whatever DE that we're given, we'll write it in the form of number four. Once you do that, and I put these steps in here, and, and to be honest with you, the steps are good, but they are uh, generic, and so it's best to to look at these steps in light of a problem, step one, how that looks, step two, step three, step four. But let me go ahead and just make mention of it. So the first thing we do is we divide each term by this y to the n. Now, where is the y to the n? Whatever term over here times f of x is associated with f of x. Now, what's f of x as it's distinguished between itself and y to the n? Here's the simple thing. Um, f of x simply means a function of x. So if I have a function of x, and then if I have y times that, y to some power, then it's that y to that power that I'm going to divide through the entire equation. All right? And it'll be obvious when we look at a problem, and we'll just point it out. Now once you do that, um, this will yield a DE, a differential equation of the form uh, y to the negative n uh, times y prime plus p of x times y to the, the 1 minus n is equal to f of x. It's on this y to the 1 minus n that I'm going to use the substitution. Let u equal to y to the 1 minus n. When you do that, then the derivative of that will pick up this y to the negative n y prime. Um, that's uh, step number four. So we have the substitution. I'm going to let y let u equal to y to the uh, 1 minus n, and the derivative of both sides here, uh, I get uh, u prime is equal to 1 minus n times y to the negative n times y prime. Now again, this n will be a number, and 1 minus n will be a number, so it won't look as cumbersome as, as what's being stated here. Uh, replace y and y prime with the substitution uh, forms from uh, step number three. That is, that I picked up some u and some u prime. You're going to solve this. It's going to be a linear equation in u. When you simplify it, it's going to be linear in u. Solve based on what we did in section 2.3. And once I do that, you're going to solve that. Once you end up with the solution, that won't be the solution to the problem because we let the substitution. We said let uh, u equal to y to the 1 minus n. So at the very last n, back substitute to solve the original DE. Now let's look at this problem and, and I'll walk you through these steps and, and it'll make a lot of sense, I think, when we actually look at the problem. Now, now why, no, oh, okay, here's Bernoulli. And 
and then you know, problems like 15 to 19 are Bernoulli, but number 11 is also Bernoulli, so I don't know why he put number 11 before he gives the explanation for the Bernoulli equations. Um, well, so I'm going to write this. This is x times y squared times dy over dx <coughs> plus x to the third. I added x to the third to both sides is equal to y to the third. Now, why did I do that? Because the form that I have in mind is this. The form says that I have dy over dx plus some function of x times y is equal to some function of x times y to some power. So this is said to be the so-called Bernoulli. equation. So this dy over dx here simply says that whatever is associated with dy over dx, I have to divide it through so that all I have left is dy over dx. So I'm going to divide everything by the x and the y squared. So that leaves me with dy over dx. plus x cubed divided by x is x squared. And then this is uh, times 1 over y squared. And that's equal to 1 over x divided through by x. And then y cubed divided by y squared is just a y. Now, I look at this, and then I look at the Bernoulli form. And the first thing that comes to my mind is that it's not all the way in that form yet. I have to do a, a switch. Do you see why it's not? Hmm? Because this, this 1 over y squared, exactly. This term here has to be a y by itself, right? It has to be a function of x times y by itself. Doesn't matter about the power of y over here. Well, this is y to the first power. This guy needs to go there. And this is y to the negative 2. So I got to swap them. So this has to go over there. And this goes over to the right to be in that form of the Bernoulli. So this is dy over dx. So this is minus 1 over x times y is equal to negative x squared all over y squared. Right. So the steps said that whatever this term is over here, this y to the n, I need to get rid of it over in its position. To do that, if it's divided, I got to multiply it through by that y to the n. If it's if it's uh, multiplied, I have to divide it by uh, everything by y to the n. Well, here, this is negative x squared divided by y squared. To get rid of the y squared, I multiply everything by y squared. So this is y squared times dy over dx minus 1 over x. y times y squared is y to the third is equal to negative x squared. Now this is in the form that I want. Well, obviously, I have that y squared sitting there. And, and for the linear form, it has to be uh, just dy over dx. That's no problem. The problem with Bernoulli is that we introduce uh, other y terms. All right? And this guy so happens to pick that up. But it's in the form that the steps say that it ought to be in. Uh, uh, here, this was uh, y to the n. We divide it through by that, or here multiplied by y squared. Now, what you're going to do when you do that, you see this this y cube here. Well, for for the linear form, it has to be some function to the first power. So I'm going to let the u equal to this y to the third. 
And so I'm going to try to force this equation to be linear in U. Y O U. U, yeah. Get U's and Y's mixed up in my head. So here, let U equal to Y to the third. Whatever this term is that's, that's here, that's what I'm letting equal to, uh, to U. So this implies, if I take the derivative now, this is U prime is equal to 3 times Y to the second times Y prime. Now this Y square uh, Y prime will pick up the Y square Y prime here. The only thing is I don't have a 3 there. So this implies that 1 over 3 times u prime is equal to y squared times y prime. So I'm going to now substitute. I'm going to replace this y squared y prime, y squared y prime, with one third u prime. So here, this, this y squared y prime is this term here. But it's equal to one third u prime minus 1 over x. And I'm letting this uh, u, y to the third, that's going to equal to this guy to you. So this is negative 1 over x times y to the third, well that's u, is equal to negative x squared. Now if I multiply everything by the 3, this would be linear in u now. Because right? I have a 1 third there, I don't want to have anything uh, in front of that, uh, that derivative. So multiply everything by the 3, so I have u prime minus 3 over x times u is equal to negative 3x squared. So now, this equation is linear in u. So now I just start now with the steps from section 2.3. Uh, find my integrating factor, mu is equal to e to the integral of this negative 3 over x, so negative 3 all over x dx. So this is e to the negative 3 times the natural log of x. And this is e to the natural log of x to the negative 3. So this is 1 over x cubed. Okay. So that's my integrating factor. So since I know that, the left side is automatically the derivative of the product of the integrating factor, 1 over x cubed, times the dependent variable u. Now, with the integrating factor, remember, we multiply everything by the integrating factor. So, so that right side is negative 3 times x squared times 1 over x to the third. Well, that's just negative 3 over x. So this is the derivative of the product of 1 over x to the third times u is equal to negative 3 over x. Integrate both sides. Integrate both sides. And what I have now is 1 over x cubed times u is equal to negative 3 times the natural log of the absolute value of x plus some constant.
occupy both sides by the integrating factor. Represent one over x to the third. Now multiply everything by the x cubed. So we have u is equal to negative 3x cubed times the natural log of the absolute value of x plus c. But u, but u is y to the third. So I replace the u with y to the third. So we have y to the third is equal to negative 3x to the third times the natural log of the absolute value of x. And I multiply it by x to the third, so I'm also multiplying that c times x to the third as well. Excuse me. And was there an initial condition to this one? y of 1 equal to 2. So y of 1 equal to 2. This means that when x is equal to 1, y is equal to 2. So I replace x with 1 and replace y with 2. So this is 2 to the third is equal to negative 3 times 1 to the third times the natural log of 1 plus c times 1 to the third. So this is 8 is equal to c, right? Because the natural log of 1 is 0, right? The natural log of 1 is 0. And so our answer is, go back up here, just replace that c with the 8. So this is y to the third is equal to negative 3x to the third times the natural log of the absolute value of x plus 8 times x to the third. Okay. Is that all right? Sir? This is a, a good day to be drinking some coffee right about now. I left my coffee cup in my office. Man. Need to get that coffee. Is that okay, Kristen? You got it? Okay, good. Yes, sir. I'll do one more here. It's uh, number 15... 17, then 19, all, all three are pretty good. Um, maybe let's start there with 15. So, I, I wanna make this linear. make the problem linear or to the goal is to write it um, into the, the linear form. So I have an x there. We divide everything through by the x. So we have dy over dx plus 1 over x times y is equal to 1 over x times that 1 over y squared. Well, it's in the linear form. The best that I know it um, was added to it is another term over there. That's that uh, 1 over y squared. That's in the so-called Bernoulli form because Bernoulli says that you have dy over dx plus some function of x, which is 1 over x, times a y by itself is equal to some function of x and then times some y to whatever power. So
So it's this one over y squared, whatever is associated with uh, the f of x, that y to the n, that's what you want to get rid of. So if it's 1 over y squared, I'm going, to do, I'm going to multiply everything by y squared. So this becomes y squared. I'm just going to write dy over dx as y prime, just for shorthand notation, plus 1 over x. And this is y squared times y. That's y to the third. That's equal to 1 over x. So in the steps for Bernoulli, we say that whatever here that's associated with this p of x, that y term, I'm going to let u equal to that. So let u equal to this guy. So let u equal to y to the third. Take the derivative of both sides here of this let statement. So this is u prime is equal to 3y squared times y prime. Every time you do this, you're going to force uh, this u substitution to pick up the derivative. But it's not quite because there's a 3 right there, right? So, so obviously, if we say 1 third times this u prime, that gives me the direct substitution for y squared y prime. So I replace the y squared, I go back to the equation, replace the y squared y prime with one third uh, u prime. So I have one third, I'm oh, sorry. I might get that fixed. I'll just rip it down all together. <laughs> then we won't have anything, but. <laughs> I'm going to fix this screen one of these days. If it's the last thing that I ever do, okay. One third. U prime. Ugh. That's a plus. I'm just going by this equation. Plus one over x. This y to the third is u. That's equal to. 1 over x. <clears throat> so it's not quite linear. There's a 3 right there. So multiply everything by the 3. So I have u prime plus 3 over x times u is equal to 3 over x. So now this is linear. Linear in u. So my integrating factor is e to the integral of 3 over x dx. So that's, this is e to the uh, 3 times the natural log of x, which becomes e to the, the natural log of x to the third. And this is just x to the third. Are you with me? So I multiply everything of this equation by x to the third. So the left side gives me the derivative of the product with respect to x of the integrating factor, which is x to the third. Times the dependent variable u is equal to 3 over x times x to the third, right? Because you multiply everything by the integrating factor. So this is just 3x squared. So I'm going to integrate both sides, but what are we integrating? We're integrating this left side, which is, which is a derivative. And that's equal to 3 times the integral of x squared dx. Okay. 
So the left side is the identity form, which is just x to the third times u. That's equal to integrate this side. This is 3x to the third divided by 3. So that's just x to the third plus some constant. Divide everything by x to the third to get the u by itself. This is 1 plus c divided by x to the third. And u originally This was u. It's y to the third. Uh-oh. <laughs> Gotta figure that'll happen one of these days. If you like me. That, like that. So y to the third is equal to one plus c all over x to the third. Any questions about Bernoulli? <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yep. And um, today I will need to go into Web Assign and update the uh, dates. I think it ended uh, maybe this weekend, probably. Um, for the uh, for the homework and the quiz, is it already set? Okay, so so we're good, we're good. Um, good deal. Well, let me stop with that one so I can spend some time to go over the uh, the sample exam with you.